Now, so last time we talked about how to make a tile map using a data array. And now I'm going to show you the tile map editor tiled, which many of you are probably familiar with. It's a free download from mapeditor.org. And I've got it open here. And I'm going to make a new map. And 64 by 64 is the size of the tiles that we're using, so we'll leave that. I'm going to save it in my assets folder here. Map one, and then we need a new tile set. And make sure the embed in map is checked. And we'll call it tiles one. The source is our tiles file in our assets folder. 64 by 64 is correct. Everything else is fine. And now what I can do is I can click on any of these images over here and simply stamp them on to the tile map. You can even use the tools to paint. And there, that saves a lot of time. Now, I know everything doesn't look perfect right now, but that is for the next video. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to load this data. Save my map, and then I am going to export and map one JSON. Now, let's go back over here to our code, and I'm going to take all of this code out. I'm just going to comment it out for what we made before. Now let's go back to our snippets, because the first thing we need to do is load that JSON file. Load tiled JSON. Copy that. And in our preload, this load tile map tiled JSON, the key, and I'll just call it map, and the path being src assets map one json now let's create our map again this time we're going to do it with the first one here before we use the one with the data array but this time we need one that takes a key constant map equals this make tile map key map which is what we've already got there the tile width is 64 and the height is 64. And next we need to add the tile set to the map as we did before. Up here we did map add tile set image and the key of the tiles. But with the JSON we have to do it a little bit differently. Add tile set images with JSON. Copy that snippet. What this does is makes a tile set object from map add tile set image, and you need the name of the tile set in tiled, and that tile set is tiles one. And you need the key from the preload, which is tiles. Now, next we have to add a layer as we did before. But now when we do the layer, instead of the index number, like 0, we need to use the name of the layer inside here. And it's tile layer 1. We can just copy that. Or I can change the name here, top layer, and then re-export that. And that just overwrites the file from before. So top layer, and we have our tile set object. And then we just need to give it an X and a Y of where that is to start. And we'll just put it in the top left-hand corner, 0, 0. And there, we've got our little island there on the desert. Now, I know the color around here isn't right and everything. And in the next video, we'll be taking care of that. But now you've got a way to edit things. And you can make changes to the map right away. Put it back on stamp. Put some cactuses around. Export. Very nice, very quick. In the next video, we'll do multiple layers, and that way you won't see these dark spots around that again. Well, I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.